Hey what's up guys, this is Zola and I'm back with a Cinema R12 tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial we're going to be going about creating this uh, film noir look. Um, if you've seen the film, I uh, recently dug it out from the old classics Renaissance, which is a French film. Uh, it was, it's really quite old now, I mean, must have been a, about seven, eight years since I've seen it. But uh, even back then they were creating some pretty impressive stuff and I'm not sure how they went about it exactly but today I'm going to be showing you how we are going to be um, making it in cinema. Uh, basically the way this is going to work is I'm just going to put this file up. Instead of running you through how I made it and getting you to make it I think it would be pretty pointless. So I'm just going to stick this um, scene file up and then you can import your objects into this scene. Uh, as I'm going to show you, it works with pretty much anything. Um, so yeah, let's, let's have a look at how what's going on under the hood. So as you can see at the moment, I've set it up to render pretty sharpish. I mean, this is a full screen uh, render and uh, we've got contours and all the rest of it. And uh, it's still rendering pretty damn quick. Um, also, the reason I'm not putting this as a preset is this is working with this uh, sketch kind of material which is applying to the scene as a whole which is why if I gave you the, um, the kind of presets and you brought imported those uh, presets with uh, by going to render settings and then uh, loading them uh, it wouldn't work because you have to have the material as well so the simplest thing so uh, what's going on under the hood here well first of all we've got a color correction which is sucking all the saturation out of the scene and uh, we've bumped the contrast up to 100, the gamma up to 2 and uh, let's have a look at this without this and we have this so this is what's applying the kind of white to it. Um, the cell renderer is what's doing um, all the magic basically um, at the moment I've set this to 3 steps, I think it's about right if you knock it down to two, you start to get a, a slightly different look. If that's what you're after, that's fine. Um, the best thing about this is just go in and play with it at one. I think we're getting to the point where it just doesn't look any good. So yeah, three is about right for me. Um, I have my anti-aliasing at one and two at the moment. So it renders pretty sharp, pretty quick. Um, this would all be great. Also, if, you, if you're not a fan of um, having the outlines, I mean, I have the outlines, so you want this kind of even flatter look I guess you can just uh, knock the outlines off and uh, that, sort, that will sort that out as you can see these are the lines being created by this uh, you have to leave these to one if not you just get a big screen of white um, now I also have the sketch and tune in here by default it's turned off and there's a good reason for that the reason is that you shouldn't need it unless you have uh, this kind of thing going on. I've put these uh, I've just, just basically three cubes and as you can see we're getting this weird gradient ramp here and unless that's the look you're going for um, I've in included the sketch and tune if we add it you're gonna see that now gets rid of uh, our issues that we're having with the gradient. So um, the sketch and tune, I will warn you, will kind of bump your render times up considerably, especially when you're dealing with um, things like the figurine or any complex geometry. But, um, you know, that's how you add only apply it if you need it. Um, other things to mention if you want the, uh, if you're not happy with the sharpness of the shadows, you can always bump the anti aliasing. I've got this best still image, which is uh, usually a good setting for anything uh, I do um, animation wise but yeah I mean this seems pretty much good to go um, these shadows are being created by uh, a light which is ray tracing which gives us these um, hard shadows and uh, that's kind of uh, goes hand in hand with the look uh, the spotlight is just a spotlight literally uh, I have a flaw so this goes on uh, infinitely as you can see so it stays black and bugger so um, yeah I mean, this isn't really a tutorial, I'm just putting this out there this weekend. Um, uh, like I said, I just got Cinema 12, so I'm going to be uh, getting up to speed with that, playing with it, and uh, thinking of some cool stuff to do for future weeks. But for this week, I'm just going to uh, put this preset up there, 
and uh, let you have a lot of fun with it and please show me what you make with it as well uh, if you use Twitter and all that I guess just tweet about it um, let's try and get it out there try and get people using it and uh, obviously if you have a short turnaround on a project and you need to achieve this look um, yeah just load the scene up and then uh, go to merge objects and you can drop kind of any um, things that you might want to have downloaded these really crappy and they literally are really crappy um, models from the internet I'm just going to group these uh, hit T scale this up this is uh, just kind of snipe rifle it's not well made at all the textures are all over the place but just to show you that you can slide these cubes literally bring anything in and uh, it should look pretty good uh, these materials are not needed but obviously as you can see here we have this uh, grey gradient effect you might like that you might not if not like I said go on switch sketch and tune on so yeah short but sweet today um, yeah just download uh, the scene file the scene file is for R12 uh, I guess if there's not many people on R12 yet I uh, and you're still on I11.5 I suggest you get it because the tutorials are going to be uh, including all the cool stuff in R12 and uh, most of the other people making tutorials have moved on to R12 as well so um, try not to get stuck in the past as it were. Uh, right, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'm out. Have fun.